In this video, I'll be comparing Bluehost to HostGator to see which one is best for creating a brand new website. Also in this video, I'll be comparing price, uptime, customer support, and heaps more. And if you watch towards the end of the video, I'll tell you who WordPress actually recommends as their desired web host. So stay tuned. So I've used both of these web hosts as a full-time web designer. So I'll be giving you my own views and thoughts of both of these web hosts. So if you want to start building a website today, I'll put links down below in the description. And I've also partnered up with both of these companies. So you'll get an exclusive discount whenever you sign up from my channel. And just as a quick disclaimer, if you do decide to use the links down below in the description, I do get a referral from these providers. But this comes at no extra cost to you whatsoever. But it really does help Help me to keep making these videos and putting content out there. So let's get stuck straight into the video. So the first thing I compared between Bluehost and HostGator was price. So when it comes to price of these two web hosts, they're just neck and neck and they're almost the same. For Bluehost, you'll expect to pay $2.95 per month for their beginner plan. And for HostGator, you'll pay $2.75 per month for their beginner plan. However, if you do decide to use the link down below in the description, you actually get a small discount on top of that. So the price will actually be less than that if you're beginning your website journey. The next thing I compared was speed. So speed is a very, very critical part in creating a website. Even Google has said that if a website takes longer than three seconds to load, they'll actually lower you on the Google ranking. And this is mainly because it's a poor user experience for the visitor. So because of this, we want our websites to ideally load under two seconds. So for Bluehost and HostGator, Bluehost definitely came out on top as far as speed was concerned. On average, Bluehost's website loaded about half a second when compared to HostGator's one second. So that's pretty much half the load time when compared to HostGator. So if you're wanting to make a blazing fast website, then this is a really big consideration you'll have to think about. The next thing I compared between these two web hosts was uptime. So uptime is the percentage of time your website is successfully operating. So anything below 99% means your website is down for 1% of the time throughout the year. So while this might not seem like a big number to begin with, if you compound that over a year, this might equal into hours or days where your website is not operating. So this can mean a loss of traffic and worst case scenario, even leads or revenue. So for Bluehost, the average uptime is 99.99% and for HostGator, it's 99.95%. So in this one, Bluehost just edges forward. The next thing I compared between Bluehost and HostGator was actually the user friendliness of their dashboard. So as a beginner website maker, the last thing you want is to be overwhelmed by the dashboard and it to slow you down from creating your website. So I'm just gonna quickly jump over to my computer and just give you a screen view of what you can expect to see from Bluehost and HostGator. Okay guys, so I'm over here at my HostGator dashboard and this is what you can expect to see when you first log in. As you can tell, this can be quite overwhelming. There's many options all over the place and if you're just starting out, this really can kind of steer you in maybe the wrong direction when first creating your website. So now I'll just go over to my Bluehost dashboard and you can see the comparison between the two. So now I'm over at my Bluehost dashboard and straight away you can just tell how much more minimalist and simple this is to just view and to navigate as well. So I'll just quickly scroll down and you can see the navigation menus here and also the sidebar as well. So for myself personally, I really prefer this method to create my WordPress websites as it's faster and just a lot easier to set up. So when comparing the user friendliness for Bluehost and HostGator, I would hands down have to give it to Bluehost in this situation. So the next thing I compared between Bluehost and HostGator was to see if there were any domain names or SSL certificates included. So a domain is, you know, the website address that you'll be using for your website. So this will be example.com and also the SSL certificate. So the SSL certificate, also known as the green padlock, is the HTTPS or the padlock which is in front of the website address. And even Google has said in the past year that if you don't have HTTPS or an SSL certificate, this may actually affect your Google rankings. And if you've been on Google recently, you may have even seen websites with the red non-secure 
um, little title before their domain name. So this is a huge red flag for visitors visiting your website, especially if you have an e-commerce website, they're just gonna leave straight away. So having an included SSL certificate is very important. So for Bluehost, they do give you a free domain name and a free SSL certificate when you first sign up. So that's a big thumbs up for Bluehost. Unfortunately for HostGator, they only give you a free SSL certificate. So no domain name, unfortunately for them. The next thing I compared between Bluehost Host and HostGator was their customer support. So as a beginner website maker, you really want to have access to good support and team members that can give you good advice on how to, you know, really speed up your website and tips and tricks. So for Bluehost and HostGator, I've had great experiences with both. So for this category, I'd say they're about even when it comes to customer support. So who does WordPress actually recommend as their preferred web host? So if I go over to the WordPress hosting page, we can now have a look at their recommended web host. Okay guys, so I'm here at the wordpress.org hosting page. And as we can see right up the top here, we have Bluehost as their preferred web host. So this really does have a lot of weight when it comes to me recommending uh, web hosts for people that are starting their website journey. So as you can see as their number one pick, they have Bluehost. So this is a huge thumbs up as this is a massive indication that WordPress trusts this brand and they use them for new beginners starting their websites. Okay, so that's the comparison out of the way. So now, who do I actually recommend as a preferred web host over Bluehost and HostGator? So for myself personally, I would have to recommend Bluehost. And this is mainly because their speeds are a lot faster, their price is nearly on par with HostGator, they have a free domain name included, and they're also recommended from WordPress as well. And also their user interface from my own experience is just a lot more simple and easy to use. And if you're just starting out, this is such a seamless transition to getting a website in under five minutes. So if you'd like to get started with Bluehost, I'll put a link down below in the description. And I've also partnered up with Bluehost, so you'll get an exclusive price. So if this video has helped you to create your first website, I'd be more than happy for you to please comment down below on the website that you created and I'll be more than happy to have a look over it and give you any tips and tricks on how you may improve your website and also if you'd like to see how I make my own WordPress websites I'll put a link down below in the description and you can see how I do that step by step. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you to better understand Bluehost and HostGator and who you think would be best for your needs. So thanks for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.